So Rainer is from Johannesburg, South, South Africa, and he's part of the Besmet Golden Lions Ref Society. And last season was Senior Ref of the Year. So high lofted kick in the wind. Sedba eventually come up with the ball, but a small knock on there. So St Michael's will be very pleased with that. Finn Baker with a fantastic take there. So Hansen with this and a good drive towards the lines, looking ominous. Good D from St Michael's. But a great drive through there, and I think it's Johnny Hansen. Johnny Hansen who comes up with a first try there for Sedba. So some fantastic uh, set piece skills there from the Sedba boys. As that fell away from him, Hansen did exceptionally well to hold his feet there, and uh, only had uh, Larry Kirkham, the winger in front of him so pretty daunting task for the uh, winger to deal with the front rower that far out and a good finish by Hansen so 5-0 to Sedba School Ben Redshaw the captain in the England 18 squad taking on the mantle of the goal kicking as well and that is a pretty good nudge straight into the teeth of the wind hit it straight as a die and Harry Miller young 15 year old really does some good work there and St Michael's look to pull the ball out drop the ball onto the toe here into some space at the back and uh, some great play there And some great work there by Larry Kirkham. Some really good individual skills there. And uh, an opening try for St Michael. So they've had little or no ball so far. And uh, immediately get themselves. This is a fantastic finish. We, uh, we missed the juggling skills there of Larry Kirkham. But nonetheless a fantastic finish there for St Michael's so Jules Fenelon and the conversion is good drives forward well Alec Martin some good defence there from St Michael's but adjudged offside so said by playing some really controlled rugby when they get their hands on the ball some real heat coming from the St Michael's defence and interestingly Ben Redshaw opts for a kick at goal and now coming back on Tight head prop Ando in the head gear. So Redshaw, yep. another very assured place kick there. So Redshaw with a penalty edges Sedba in a 10 points to 7 lead with about 4 minutes to go to half time. Will Wooden, who's been pretty impressive so far in this game showing his uh, credentials so a scrum penalty there for St Michael's really putting the pressure on Sedba just five meters out so we currently have 291 likes on the feed we'd really like to get ourselves to 500 before we get to the end of this game or the end of this half actually so please do smash the like button. So St Michael's really turning up the wick on this Sedba defence now. And he's reached out to score it, but just short. St Michael's really pressuring this Sedba line. Some great D here from Sedba. And they go for it again. And 
it's given, so try for St Michael's. Jules Fenelon with the kick. Couldn't be much tighter to this touchline if it tried. And that is a fantastic strike, but unfortunately it drifts wide on the wind. So that is half time with St Michael's holding a slender 12 points to 10 lead over Sedba as we hit half time. As we've said in the previous game though, uh, it's the teams that score the points and not the wind, but uh, it's certainly a great opportunity. And it looks like Will Wooden is kicking off. Good high kick, but well taken there by St Michaels. And another penalty for hands on the floor. Will Wooden goes early, but runs straight into the defence of St Michaels. But gets them to about a yard or two outside. Sedba pounding the St Michaels line. The St Michaels defence is good. But uh, again, another infringement there. Be interesting to see how long referee Van Tonder puts up with these goal line infringements. I saw some of the Sedba coaching staff at breakfast this morning and they were remarking on the temperature difference between Cumbria and um, Patana. And Redshaw in this seesaw game regains the lead. So 13-12 to Sedba. Finn White there at the tail of this line out. Kane James, Charlie Turnbull, another good throw there, but the ball's bobbled down and off the top. But a judge to have uh, interfered in the uh, in the air. So Will Wooden has been. Uh, the heartbeat of this Sedba attack and uh, as you uh, predicted just a few moments ago Redshaw opts to take this probably the optimum place on the paddock to take a long kick because the wind is is following it's coming off that left touchline so Redpath lines up this kick a couple of steps oh god he's got some distance on that and he's, and success he's successful Break it. Break so it. We've got to say that is very much a captain's knock so far from Redshaw. He's extending their lead to 16 points to 12. And Andy Cosgrave tries a banana kick. But the referee brings us back for an earlier infringement there. So ball in the hands of Ben Redshaw. And Ben Redpath is backing himself for what would be about a 53 metre kick at goal, which uh, is, uh, is a bold attempt. There is absolutely no question that this man has uh, taken the captain's armband with, uh, with some fervour. And he only comes off a couple of steps here. I know there's a Again, really it's good stiff, game management because really if stiff, he misses, he's going to... Stiff breeze, but he's certainly got the distance. Wow! And that is a fantastic kick. That was pretty much still going up as it crossed the... Um, the bar. Went over the crossbar. Um, the St. Michael's scrummage. They're deep in their own half. And another scrum penalty for Sedba. Really turning the screw here on St. Michael's. I imagine he's going to go for post again. And uh, yep, he's going go. for goal again. <laughs> Has been absolutely fantastic. He has been literally metronomic and particularly in this second half that is his fourth penalty of this half fielded by David Lucy he's looking to bring the ball back St Michael's have got to uh, 
have got to run from uh, run from deep here. Good footwork there from Mark Caniff. Oh, oh, and a great interception there. That's game. Wilbur Blackham, and I would say that that is the knife through the heart. Redshaw to take the conversion. Already got 17 points in this game. But sadly, no, no perfect finish to the game for Redshaw. And a great take in the middle there and a good setup. Need to get the ball back into the hands of Tom Stewart here. And he's uh, got himself hidden away. Some of the said Burr boys peeling off. And this could well be, well, said the boys doing well not to give anything away here. But it looks like uh, a try there for, well, it's given us a penalty try. It's last chance saloon, I think, for St. Michael's. But a fantastic jackal over the ball there by Sedba and uh, given the pragmatic way that they have played so far it wouldn't surprise me if they kicked a touch or Redshaw goes for goal again tap and kick tap and kick and that is full time and a very assured win 27 points to 19 Sedba School over St Michael's College from Dublin